Along the California coast, Pacific storms create large ocean swells, often with damaging consequences. Around the world, coastal erosion is an ever-present threat to those who build on the shoreline. In Southern California, the city of Ventura has learned from experience. And this community is now implementing an innovative solution to coastal erosion. Foundation is dedicated to protecting the world's oceans, waves, and beaches. This managed retreat project really encompasses everything that we at Surfrider value. Coastal access, uh, restoration of natural processes, and really uh, respecting our beach. One of the biggest concerns for Surfrider Foundation around the world is, is the construction of seawalls on our beaches. Our primary issue was the beach right here at Surfers Point. We were looking at the threat of having a permanent seawall constructed the entire length of this beach. The problem here is that the bike path and parking lot were built too close to the edge of the beach. So the obvious solution is to move everything back away, restore the natural buffer zone that we have along the coast. And this project's gonna do that in a manner that's gonna ensure that the fairgrounds property is still protected we're going to have a new parking lot that's going to treat and filter storm water so the water quality is going to be improved. And we're going to have a much more natural beach out here for the future. In 1989, the bike path and parking lot was built right here on the beach. 1992, it was damaged to where it was diverted back into the parking lot. By uh, 1995, we began to bring together the working group and come up with solutions to restore the natural protection that a beach provides. Uh, there's a lot of major players with concerns about what happens out here. Uh, we have uh, state agencies uh, who had different opinions about uh, what needed to occur to, to provide the proper fix. State Parks owns the bike path and they were very concerned about erosion to their bike path. We had the State uh, Coastal Conservancy who also was concerned about what was happening, as well as the Coastal Commission, who uh, does not like to put seawalls or do not like to armor the beach and has provided the original permits for the project. In addition, uh, the fairgrounds was concerned about losing property as erosion continued, and they were very concerned about uh, being able to build the bike path and the parking lot back the way it was. We also had other stakeholders uh, like the Surfrider Foundation as well as the Ventura County Bicycle Coalition very interested in what occurred out here. Um, the city, of course, was, got involved to help coordinate the, the different groups and try to move forward with a collaborative effort to determine what would be the solution uh, that would make uh, a project here that we could all be proud of. We looked at doing what's called a managed retreat project and retreating from the beach, giving the ocean some more room to grow. On the average, uh, the beach will be 60 feet wider in this location. The first phase of the project is to remove about uh, half of the parking lot area. Most of it will be reused uh, to fill and grade other areas in our project. All of this area will then be replaced with buried cobble rock covered by uh, sand on top of that. We eventually hope to have a future phases of the project where we will work on building sand dunes over the top of the cobble which again further stabilizes the beach. We'll be doing some major water quality improvements. We will be removing the pipeline that pumps the storm water out to the beach and we'll be cleaning up the water before it goes out to the river. Part of that activity is to run the storm water filter it through uh, grassy swales or filter it through the parking lot. Uh, construction is going to begin right after Labor Day. We're going to be working between Labor Day and be out of here before Memorial Day of 2011. Major funding for this project has come from the State California Coastal Conservancy. Uh, they've been a partner with us from the start of this project. Uh, it's a good uh, pilot project uh, as it happens. It's almost entirely state and federally funded. This project is very much at the heart of, of who and what we are as a state agency. 
We view this as an opportunity to you know, fulfill our core mission of making sure that the residents of Ventura and of the whole state of California have continued access to this important beach uh, area, uh, as well as learn uh, what we can do and how we can do it to uh, accommodate rising seas. It took quite a lot of uh, uh, community involvement, uh, which from our perspective at the Coastal Conservancy is the way it should be. One of the things that came out of the working group was to really understand what is the benefits of, uh, of a vibrant uh, beach that's working and healing itself. So we know there's an economic value to the fact that we have a vibrant beach here. Uh, on a daily basis, it's probably the most actively used public space in the city. The financial piece to a city is that not only is it just dollars and cents, but I think it goes to the soul of a community that says we are restoring natural systems and not just putting hardened structures in place. It really speaks volumes to the kind of community that Ventura is. We are fortunate because it was a bike path to get almost a million and a half dollars from the Federal Transportation uh, Initiative. Ginger Girardi was a, f a great help in that as, as the Executive Director of the Ventura County Transportation Commission. I'm a member of the uh, Ventura County Fair Board. I've been on the Fair Board since uh, 2001. My role with uh, the Surface Point area started way earlier than that in my former occupation. Uh, we actually funded the very first bike path that went here and that bike path was subsequently destroyed by storm da damage. And there was a great deal of controversy about what could be done to put a bike path back. I don't think we were looking originally at doing anything to restore the beach, just to fix the bike path. The fairground is actually the owner of the beach. Uh, we own the property from the fairgrounds out to the mean tide line. So even though the city has a shoreline drive that comes in as a street, the fairground actually owns the property. So what's being done on it really is being done with the cooperation and the collaboration of the fair district itself. The, the fair has been around since the early 1900s and attracts about 320,000 people during that 12-day period in August. So it is a tremendous economic anchor for the city of Ventura and, um, and, and a very important anchor. This project has the potential to show the rest of the country how we should be dealing with our coastlines. This is a, a place that is really valuable to surfers from around the world. When we get it halfway done, we're only going to want to fight even harder to get the rest of that money. This is really a new approach to dealing with coastal erosion, dealing with some of these coastal problems. And we're really looking forward to seeing the benefits of restoring the natural beach out here as opposed to putting in hardened structures to try and maintain the, the bike path. I recognize that there, there are challenges as we go forward, but I think in the long run, people will look back on this and say, why didn't we do it sooner?